because this storm is going and these winds are blowing and I want to fight back but I don't know what I'm doing God I feel so foolish <laughs> what's the sense of fasting and praying it just feels foolish so why do it because these storms they keep going and the walls are closing in God do you hear me <laughs> God I need you to come quick because this stuff is getting thick God please come and clear this path because I'm lost in this aftermath. Hey, what's up, guys? We're Soul Fruit. Yes. Hey. <laughs> hey, dying to live. You need to be here. You need to make it your business and show up. I mean, I don't know what you're doing. You just need to stop and come to the Dying to Live conference. We'll be here, and you need to be there, too. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm James Runnels IV technically the fifth, and I gotta say how awesome the Dying to Live workshop slash summit was. Oh my goodness, it was, it was such a blessing because it opened up deep levels in me where I needed to grow. I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to go into a deeper level with God right now. After I get done with this interview, it's just gonna be me and God right now. And I thank God, I thank God for Micah. She has great energy, her whole team, everybody have a, have a deep love and spirit for Christ and a passion and conviction for spreading the gospel and the truth. But I have prayed for you, past tense, already done. Yeah. What else I got to do? I'm not going on that tree again. I have prayed for you, Adrian, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, when you are converted, when you finally get it, strengthen the brethren. I'm here to strengthen y'all. I'm here to give you hope. I really enjoyed myself. I'm really glad that I came to the summit. I thank God for Micah uh, for the program that she put on. It really helped me a lot, the aftermath and dying to live. I really appreciate it. Hi, my name is Delilah, and I just really wanted to let you know that today the Dying to Live Summit was truly amazing. It really has blessed me. Um, the whole topic with the aftermath, I truly have been in a place in my life where I felt like I was dealing with the aftermath, and they really brought a good word and a lot of tips to help me recover and rebuild myself and stand strong and continue to live for God. But is it something when God has a plan for your life? That it doesn't make a difference what roads you've been on. It doesn't make a difference what type of obstacles you have been faced in your life. That God always has the last say so. Hey, what's going on? My name is Wesley Livingston, part of Divine Revelation. Um, enjoyed Aftermath. Absolutely incredible. Touched my life and allowed me to see what I need to change within me in order to be more like Jesus. So thank you all so much. Love you guys. Okay. God bless. Hi, my name is Taryn, Taryn Sky. Um, D2 was such a blessing to me. It allowed me to become more vulnerable to um, what God has in store for me. It, it was confirmation, affirmation. It was just such a blessing. I was able to outreach and bring people in, change people's lives. Um, the power of God that was in the place was just so awesome. And I just look forward to this each and every year. It made me want to be closer to God and it, it allowed me to surround myself with like-minded people. It took me from one area into another area and I'm just so thankful for you guys and I can't wait to see what God has in store for the ministry. Thanks. Satan is real and unfortunately we in the church have kind of patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, bakers, men in the church and we plan with y'all and we're not telling you that there's a real demon out there ready to rob kill and destroy you. Hi, my name is Gabrielle Williams and I just wanted to tell you guys um, how the conference went. The message really just conveyed to me that all I need is God and he's going to get me through anything. So see you next year. What I got out of the summit today was just, I learned that I need discipline in my life. So many things that I want and I failed to discipline myself to get there. I just came out and had fun, not, think, not knowing exactly what was going to happen. God has really just like touched my life today. Today was like the first time I was ever just like, on my face like I usually like thank you Lord and that's kind of it but today when he was just like say thank you and I don't know why the word thank you just touched me like that but it did and I am so blessed I know my brother didn't make it to C25 and I did so I realized how blessed I am and just being here today just reminded me just to tell God thank you and to be more disciplined in what I do so that I can help those coming up. Hi my name is Ariel Smith um, I'm a part of Divine Revelations Bible Study Group. Aftermath 2011 was great. 
for all the speakers that came, told their testimony, really touched me, changed my life. I really needed this because we all go through stuff in life. I'm going through stuff, and this really touched me, and thank you guys for coming out. Them demons is coming one by the thousands and millions after your soul. His time is running out. So therefore, let me just mess you up. I got to keep you messed up. I got to keep you so upset and painful and dealing with suffering and issues of life. Hey, first of all, I'd like to say thank y'all for coming so much. Being a part of Divine Revelation, being a part of Aftermath, it was all nice experience. Um, with my spiritual level, I have been elevated to another level. Thank you, Micah. I'll be ready to see y'all again 2012. Love y'all. Yes. God has blessed me. God has blessed all of us. He's touched all our lives, all our struggles, all our troubles. This summit, this summit, oh my gosh. You summit right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> One word. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank y'all very much, very, very, very much for the summit.